Welcome back to the job site. In this video, I'm gonna show you a tool that has made its way into my tool belt and has not left since I found this tool. And that's this right here, it's a bull nose trim gauge. We're gonna go inside and show you what this tool does and how to use it. So stay tuned for this video. the tools that worked its way into my tool belt is this right here. It's a Bench Dog Tools Bullnose Trim Gauge. And the way I found out about this, actually um, I buy a lot of my tools on Amazon and I was buying, I bought something and at the bottom of the screen it has, always has those recommendations like you also might like this. And it said Bullnose Trim Gauge so I just bought it and I'm so glad that I did because this is one of those tools that you wonder how you function without it. Same thing with my laser tape measure that I use. Um, so we'll get right into it. It's a really easy tool to use. You can use it for crown molding like we're using here. Also baseboard. There's also some really cool tricks you can do with this if you have multiple, um, multiple of these tools, these bullnose trim gauges. For example, uh, well, I'll just show you how it works real quick and then we'll get into the trick. But, um, Basically, the way it works is all of these bullnose corners for the, the drywall beads that go on the outside corner, they're all 5 eighths of an inch. So the reveal in between this tool is 5 eighths of an inch. And all you got to do is just hold this up. It's at that, you know, 90 degree angle. It's going to hug this bullnose corner and that drywall corner bead back there. And you're just going to hold it up about where your crown comes down. So I know mine comes down about three and a half inches. So I'm just gonna hold it. And it, it really, it's hard to mess this up. I mean, when it's on there, it, it wants to hug it and be snug. There's really no way you can mess it up. All you gotta do is make sure that it's pushed firmly up against each side and you're good to go. And then you're gonna take your pencil and just mark it off. I mean, it's really that simple. What I used to do, and I had a, one of my first YouTube videos I ever put out, was me showing a very similar situation, how to wrap one of these corners with a bullnose crown molding. But I, the way I used to do it was I would just cut a bunch of these bullnose pieces of crown molding and hold them up as samples. Then I have to hold that piece, mark it, mark it. Same thing with the baseboard. So being able to just come slap this thing on here, mark it, has saved me a lot of time. And that's why this is one of my most valuable tools now in my tool belt that I don't know how I did without. So that's it, that's how you use the tool. You can now see those lines there. All I have to do is measure up against that, that wall over there. I'll go right up under that crown. And then we got 68 and a quarter. So, I mean, you see how quick and efficient that makes it to measure the stuff. And then with this one, since I'm doing that fancy return, I'll actually, I actually need to, I'm gonna mark down about where this needs to go, out there. And then if you wanna learn how to make this fancy return, I do have a video. I'll put that in the description too. But I like doing these little bit fancier returns, especially when the house has bullnose corners. It, it feels like it fits a little bit better to me. So now I have everything I need within a matter of seconds. Obviously, I had this, we had like four of these, I already had these pre cut today. So then I'll measure from there to there. Now I'll go out to the saw, I'll cut all this stuff up and glue it up. But you see how quick that is. Bam! Throw it on there good to go. Um, I'm not, I'm like, this video isn't sponsored by Bench Dog Tools. I, they do make some really cool tools and good stuff. They don't know who I am or anything like that. I just like sharing this information when I find it. One other thing you can do, if, like I said, if you have two of these, let's say you have a bullnose corner here and then another bullnose corner here. You can actually, they have this little hole right here. You can just take a nail and then a hammer, I don't have a, a nail on me right now, only brad nails, and just tap it in there, you know, hit it in. It'll actually just hold right there. And then you can hook your tape measure 
on to the side of this in measure to your other one. So that's really convenient because one of the hard things is, especially with crown molding so high up, you can't really, you know, try to hold a tape measure right here and you got another bull nose over here. It, there's nothing to hook on there. So that's something you could do. And for base too, you could have a bunch of these and just, you know, nail them up into place and just start measuring off. So again, this thing is awesome. Don't know how I lived without it before, just doing things the hard way, obviously, but I'm glad someone was smart enough to make this because it is a time saver. I'll go to the saw, I'll cut those pieces, I'll glue them up and we'll see how this thing fits in. I got all the pieces cut and we got my return, the small piece in the middle, bull nose and large piece right here on the ladder. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these up. And every time I use this glue, someone asks where I get it and everything like that. So I'll have links in the description to all of these, to the glue, to the, to the bull nose trim gauge that this video is about. So you can get this stuff for yourself. So you can see how that's gonna look now when it sets in place. That will be it. Those, um, that's the activator from the glue and that'll dry out and that won't get painted over. So I'm not worried about that. And you can see kind of my contact points where I really like to saturate it. And last one, and we should be good to go. We'll give this a few seconds to cure. But you can see how easy that makes the process. And it'll actually tell you with this tool, this bullnose trim gauge, if it's not hugging the wall right, I'll pull it out again real quick. If it's not hugging the wall how it should be, with well, it's snug on each side and you can actually look under it. If it's off, then you may need to throw an angle finder on there because this is made for 90 degree turns with each cut being 22.5. If you add up those four cuts, on the 22.5s, they're gonna give you that full 90. So 22.5 times four equals 90. If your corner's not 90, then your cuts aren't gonna be 22.5. So this is made for 90, just make sure of that before you start cutting everything up and then it's, you've got some corners that are off. Usually with the bullnose corners, I haven't had any problems with them being too far from 90, so that's, I usually, when we have bullnose corners, they're actually easier than just the regular 90 corners with no bullnose in the middle. So I'm gonna slide that in over there. That's gonna do it for that one. All right, so here you can see the bullnose corner. I'm actually behind the camera now. You can see how tight it hugs that bullnose. You can see my three-piece return right there. And that is how it's supposed to look. And then I'll grab the tool and you can see how those line up. The, how the tool lines up right on my cuts so this tool is really good and I highly recommend it. Saves me a lot of time. And like I said, I'll have a link in the description where you can actually get this tool on Amazon. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. That's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully you guys learned something about that bullnose trim gauge and how to use it. If you have any video suggestions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll check them out and see what you guys wanna see. But other than that, like I said, thanks for watching and we'll see y'all next time. Take care.